Hi, welcome back. Sorry for this look. I haven't showered or anything today because I typically work out when Lily goes down for a nap. So I shower after that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm gonna be dealing with. I think I'm gonna start my bookshelf organization today. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done because um, I'm just gonna work through her nap and then maybe some a little bit this afternoon when Jonathan gets home or something. They're now mounted to the wall and that top shelf is fixed. We did it yesterday. So I'm going to take out all of these books because I don't want books stacked. The reason why these are stacked like this is because I didn't have enough space to put them you know, right side up. So I'm gonna take everything out and organize it. Um, I think I'm gonna do some stuff, like some shelves are all gonna be you know, by the same author and then not really sure. Here's some other stuff that I have. These are some of my other books that I'm gonna be putting on the shelf. I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize these because some of these are like very young books, like junior high style books, because that's when I started reading. Um, but I don't want to get rid of these because I enjoyed them so much. This series, um, Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging, there's like 10 of these, I think, or maybe only nine, I don't know. These were some of my favorite books in junior high, and so I want to keep these so when Lily gets older, she can read these kinds of books. And then I have just like a bunch of like Sarah Dessen. She was my queen when I was in junior high. So Judy Bloom, Sarah Dessen, uh, lots of her. And these are just books that I've had for actual years. And they're younger books, so they're like, you know, that style. But I want to put them on my shelf. I just don't know how I'm going to organize those. And then I have, this is my favorite movie. I've actually never read the book yet. I bought it, but I never read it. It's my favorite, favorite movie though. Secret Life of Bees. I have just like some classics. Excuse you. I have some classics that we read like in high school that I loved or junior high. I think we read The Giver and I loved that book as well. These books, traumatizing, incredible. I loved it. This book is also fantastic. And then I have like some Nicholas Sparks books um, that I also loved. This is like very young, Bridge to Terabithia, but this movie shook my soul. So I loved it. I have Chronicles of Narnia down here. And then I just have some other like random books. I never read The Cuckoo's Calling or really anything else that J.K. Rowling has written. I bought these first two books that she came out with, but I couldn't get into this one. I read like halfway through this one and I just like couldn't do it. But I have them. And then I have the first two Lord of the Rings. I'm not Lord of the Rings. The first two Game of Thrones books, which I also have not read, but I loved the show. Um, I don't know if I'll ever read these. I think I actually, it looks like I started. <laughs> but um, I want to keep those because I do love Game of Thrones. And we have a little Game of Thrones seat right here. So uh, I want to be able to like put those next to that and everything. And then in this over here, I have like the rest of my Harry Potter books. This is some like hardcover sets, some like singles that I have. And then my other, my two uh, softbacks. And then in this bin, I have all of the like trinkets and things that I'm going to put in between the shelves, like the Philosopher's Stone and um, Ravenclaw Diadem and things like that. Okay, so I worked out, showered, and got ready. And now I don't have a lot of time before Lily wakes up from her nap to work on this. So I have like 10 minutes, so I'm just going to do what I can in 10 minutes and I'll probably just do like a time lapse or something um, to figure out what I'm gonna do here. The only plan so far I have is that I'm gonna do all Harry Potter on the whole top row. And then I think the second whole row is all gonna be Sarah J Mass books. Um, and I'm leaving plenty of room for all the new books that will be coming. And then, I don't know for the rest, honestly.
two rows of Harry Potter because I like the idea of having some front facing ones, like multiple of them, and then I can have more room for Harry Potter trinkets in the Harry Potter section. So I'm gonna do these full two rows of all Harry Potter books. bookshelves for now as I'm sure you guys know over time like these are gonna it's gonna change all the time because you get more books and then you want to move things and reorganize so I'll just go through the shelves with you guys and just show you what my vision is so there it is <laughs> so I am fully obsessed i feel so happy to have all my stuff um so here we go the first two shelves all the way across are all harry potter books so og hardcovers an anniversary edition of sorcerer's stone another anniversary edition of the philosopher's stone and then these are all the Harry Potter books, but I have different dust covers for them that came in Accio boxes. This Half-Blood Prince is the one that Jonathan proposed to me with. And then we have a soft cover, Harry Potter bag, Crimes of Grindelwald. This is the first Harry Potter book I ever read that I borrowed from my friend. He gave it to me. And then I have these like UK editions of the first two. I want the whole set one day. I have this newer Harry Potter edition and then Cursed Child um, there. And then I just kind of like placed my little trinkets throughout my Horcruxes. And then I have my Sorcerer's Stone book, the Mina Lima edition, which is stunning if you have not seen this you guys need to get it the second one just came out and i still need to go get it um and then i have it next to my sorcerer's stone fantastic beasts with uh, my little bow truffle right there and then this is the first set that i ever owned of my harry potter books all my softbacks so they are a little rough but they're beautiful my triwizard cup and then this third row is eventually i'm sure all gonna be sarah j mass but um these are just the books that she has written so far. Um, so Thorn of Glass series, which was a long series to get through, but absolutely loved it. Main character, Aelin, obsessed with her. Uh, Crescent City, beautiful book. The second one comes out, I'm pretty sure, in January, February of next year. And then my Akatar series, the love of my life. These books changed my entire life and they are my soul books. Specifically this one. This one's incredible. Um, and then we have just some more uh, fantasy fiction books over here. So the Cruel Prince series and then the Caravelle series, um, which these ones were fun. Not my favorite. One day I'll go through and probably like review all these with you guys. <laughs> um, and then this is when things kind of start to get like they're not 
in any specific order. I kind of did like uh, fantasy fiction all together and then fiction together. Um, but we just have some fantasy books right here. Bridge Kingdom series from Blood and Ash series, uh, Game of Thrones, and then Twilight, and then The Host, which was also by Stephanie Meyer, which was actually a fantastic book. Um, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, I put the front face books out that I actually really enjoyed or that are like the newer ones in the series. Like this is one of her newer books. This is one of her newer books. This was my favorite one in the series. It was really fun to read. That one's great. Um, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, I loved. And then um, these are two new books that I have that I have not read yet. And then these guys right here, all my Lee Bardugo books, Six of Crows is my all time favorite. That story just, oh my God, I love it. Uh, Touch of Darkness series, oof, this one was good. <laughs> These, this one, not so good. And this one that just came out this year, god awful. I'm so sorry if you enjoyed that. And The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and then this book that Jonathan had. I honestly don't even know what it's about, but I know it's like sci-fi fantasy, so kept that in that area. And then coming down here, um, I don't know why I put these here, honestly, but Divergent series and Hunger Games series, and then... I just have this little tray that I put here for now that's gonna hold book marks. And then that's all for like fantasy fiction. And then we're getting into just fiction. So these are all my fiction books right now. These are some of my older books. Um, yeah, and then these are young books down here and more like kid books. That is how I organized it so far. I know it's gonna change, cause I'm already not like 100% happy with how it is, but I'm, I'm still like obsessed with it, so I'm good. I decided yesterday, just like putting all my stuff out, I was like, okay, I have like a good amount of space left and I've like put things places to take up space, like having books like with the front face out and it, cause it takes up more space and then it looks more filled, but it's not gonna take me that long. Like, it's not gonna take years and years and years for me to fill this up. So what I'm thinking is eventually I'll get some type of bookshelf upstairs in either the guest room or my bedroom and put like these books that are not like my loves, you know? <laughs> and really just the books that will be down here showcased will be the books that I absolutely love or that are like very beautiful books um, and then like my older books and things can go into a secondary bookshelf that isn't right in the living room I am so happy I love I can't even express to you how much I love being next to all of my books having my Harry Potter stuff and everything just like organized in a way that I've wanted for so many years like my Harry Potter stuff has been at my parents' house for years. And then I've also never had room for bookshelves and things like that. So this is amazing to me and I'm so happy. I think that's all for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my full library now. It's pretty much done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.